Times. The situation in the Middle East and Northern Africa is likely to get worse before it gets better. What will your policy be from trying to alleviate problems to becoming isolated from it? If leaders in the region request your help, will you refuse? And if not, in what ways will you help? Well, I'm at the position, and probably Don agrees with me, is I would just pull all my tentacles back. I wouldn't send any troops. I would shut down all trade with that region and those countries. And if they have to, they'll eat themselves because it's their problem. And the only reason we do get involved is because of natural resources, whether it's oil or minerals or whatever. It's like the Avatar movie. It's we're there for a reason. And it's not a humanitarian reason. We use that for politics. I wouldn't support them at all um, because they have to get it over with. They're going to have, we can't do what the UN wants to do. The UN isn't for the United States. Uh, it's anti-United States. It's un-American. So I wouldn't support them at all. I would just take care of America. I think that what Don's uh, saying, and many people are saying, is that it's time for us to pull all, it's like an octopus, pull all, all of our resources back into the country and prepare because I think okay. things are going to hit the fan. <laughs> okay. Don? Well, I agree with James. Uh, the United States is bankrupt. The sooner people realize that. We don't have the money to go out and help people. You know, I, I can see a little humanitarian aid if they've had a, nat a natural disaster. Earthquakes and tornadoes and floods, that kind of a little bit of aid. But we have to stop pretending that we're the richest in the world and come back and take care of our own nation. And well, within a week after I'm elected, I will deport everybody in the United Nations building and convert the United Nations building into condos. It's time for us <laughs> to reward up the United States. Just put all these other people out. They're not here to help us. They're not here to be friends with us. They're here to see how much they can take over the United States. And we are broke. It, it's time that we take care of our own. You know, when, when we have one and a half million or more children going to school hungry every day. In this nation, that is just great. We have to stand up and restore our families and put our people back into homes, you know, and put food on the table and give people jobs, okay. you know, and stop worrying about the rest of the world. The rest of the world doesn't care one cent about us. 